What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be using our logging truck, this old Peterbilt 350 that we actually just bought from a logging company in the last video, or one of the previous videos anyway. We're going to be using it to log a load of lumber. As you guys can see right there, one of my favorite things about these logging trailers is it's not just logs you can haul, it's like lumber and utility poles and things like that. Actually, I really dig this setup. It honestly looks really good loaded on there, so I'm really excited about using it. Now we're going to go ahead and hop in the truck. Now I wanted to give a quick little shout out to, J to Jermaine Mayo. He actually requested that we put a gun steering wheel in this truck. I think it looks pretty good. And I got to say, it does kind of fit the, it does kind of match the way this truck looks. So again, shout out to Jermaine Mayo for commenting that. We did put a gun steering wheel in it as well as we put the eight ball on it. And I think it looks really good in this truck. As you guys already know, let's go ahead and get a little cold start going here. Fire this baby up. Oh yeah. Got her warmed up. Now let's hit the road. Now, until I get my track IR set up, as well as my, you know, my VR set up, we're going to continue to run the mirrors there on the side. Now, I am looking at getting track IR on this game pretty, pretty soon. Let's see if we can get out of here. I think it's going to add a whole other element or, you know, another dynamic to the game. I think it'll be pretty cool. One thing I will say is I'm absolutely loving this area on the map out here. A little junkyard, a, a lumber yard, and things like that. And they're all dynamic, as you guys can see. There's some wood chips being shredded there, and that's a junkyard right there. And that's actually a rock quarry straight ahead over there, so... Definitely adds to a new dynamic of the game. Go ahead and turn on my GPS, because I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. Now, I do know we will be doing some highway driving here. So, as you guys know, this truck is mainly set up for, you know, hauling heavy loads on rough terrain. Even rougher than what we're currently on right now as it sits. As you guys can see, that trailer is just rocking and rolling. I believe we're only hauling about 31,000 pounds. So not super heavy or anything by any means, but not also very light either. And going over these rough terrains, it definitely makes it pretty heavy. So we're going to come to a stop, or at least pretty rough anyways, as I stop out in the middle of the road. It makes it pretty rough to go across these roads. It shakes you around pretty good. I'm a little rusty. It's been a few days since I played this game, so I uh, stopped out in the middle of that intersection there and missed a gear. I'll get back into the rhythm. I had been working a lot of hours here lately, so what's funny is you guys don't really see the breaks in between because I upload, I record so many videos. Like when I'm feeling good and I start recording videos, I usually do more than one at a time and really the reason for that is just because I I never know what tomorrow brings you know I might get super busy one day and then need to you know and then obviously not have a whole lot of time to do more videos after that so that's part of the reason why I do what I do when I am feeling good I'll just start recording videos and recording as much footage as I possibly can and I actually thought my windows were down that entire time but they weren't they were actually up so now you'll hear more engine sound in the truck but we do have to come to a stop here so let's come to a complete stop see if we can actually stop now there is no sign that says no turn on right so we're gonna go ahead and make this turn and hopefully not hit the curb over there oh yeah nicely done Oh, we had a nice little crash over there. Looks like another rollover. It's been a and it's hauling lumber too, so that explains why my that explains why my customer is in desperate need to get this fast. He wants a very fast delivery. And that's because their previous truck just flipped over. Looks like all the lanes merged down to one. I feel like I've been here already. I know I had came through this way. However, I know I've never gone this route. So, anyways, we'll see what this road holds. We are going to go to a new city that we've not been before, so that's the main reason why I picked this load. This load of lumber out to the city. I want to check it out. I'm actually really digging this side of the map. And again, for those of you that don't know, I did end up buying almost every map in the game. There's only two maps I didn't buy, and that's Kansas and Oklahoma. I didn't buy yet. But we are going down here to Olympia. And between Olympia and you can see the ones that I've already been to. I ended up taking a ferry in the last video between these two cities here. That was pretty cool. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's actually the video where I bought this logging truck. 
this older logging truck at. But I'm definitely digging this side of the map all up in this area. I do plan on spending a little bit more time up here. Maybe travel down through here to Salem and then go up here. But very soon we're going to head over to this part of the map. I haven't been to here or down into here. And we're going to spend some time in these areas. Looks like a pretty crazy road right here. So we might have to take a load out that direction. Pretty soon anyways. I'm excited for it. We'll see what ends up happening though. Now as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, for my subscriber, Mr. Jermaine Mayo was his name, I ended up doing the gun steering wheel as you guys can see there. If you guys have a request that you want to see me do, whether it's a part like a steering wheel, a specific truck build, or even just a specific load that you want to see me haul, whether it's you know a cargo or freight, whatever it may be, please let me know. You guys always comment it below in all my videos. Those are beautiful sunflowers, by the way. I think that looks gorgeous over there. My little short attention span, but these farm fields out here are very, very nice. We might have to do some, some farm equipment hauling here in the near future. And I can see some water down there. I get so easily distracted by all the views and just sights to be seen in this game. It's so beautiful. This really is my escape from reality, anyways, in this game. It's my escape from real life. I just, I have so much fun in this game. Oh, sure, or cop sitting right there. Hopefully I wasn't running speeding. Doesn't appear to be speeding. You gotta always watch these little small town cops as well as these little sheriffs and whatnot. They're always out looking to pull somebody over, aren't they? I have a lot of them out here in my area in real life. Now, for those of you that may have missed the video where I actually ended up buying this truck, this truck is a specific logging truck. The previous company used it specifically for logging. And it is meant to pull heavy loads like logs up rough, steep terrain. So it's geared for doing that. As in the as opposed to highway, as you guys can see, I mean, I'm going about 55 miles an hour right now, and it is redlining pretty good. It's revving that engine up pretty high. Oh, speed limit drops right here. It's revving that engine up pretty darn high anyway, so... But for those of you that didn't know that, it's because it is a logging truck, and it's meant to do that. There's some kind of big building right there. I'm not entirely sure what that place is, but that's a beautiful building. Go straight on. Man, I have to give it up for the SES software developers and everybody that made this game and was a part of making it. Some of these cities are just absolutely gorgeous. Like I can't stop looking at all the surroundings here. I'm just not used to it. This is my first time being up here. I mean, you see all these trees and everything. So I'm just absolutely excited about it. I'm having a blast here. So you guys will have to comment below what y'all want to see more of next. So I do have a couple other videos coming up. Uh, in, I don't know, by the time me recording this, they haven't been up yet, but I do have a video coming up of the best sound mods for American Truck Simulator. As well as I do also have a video of how to exactly get these old school trucks like that. By the time you guys are seeing this video, as of right now, my plan was to have those videos up already. But I can't confirm yet whether or not they are, of course, by the time you're recording them. I am also, because it is December of the time me recording this anyways, I am planning on doing a lot of different Christmas ideas. So we'll be doing a lot of Christmas hauling and things like that. Oh, cop's sitting right there. Luckily I'm not speeding. He ain't getting me. But as I was saying, I am planning on doing a lot of Christmas hauling. We're going to do a couple of Christmas builds. And you guys are actually going to be seeing that over the next upcoming weeks. A lot to do with Christmas. There's another triple train over there. You guys may have seen in one of my previous videos, I keep seeing a lot of triple train trailers or triple trailers up here in this area. And it's got me intrigued. I've never even hauled a double yet. But those triple trailers just, man, they just really do it for me. That sounded a little weird. What I'm trying to say is they're just really cool to watch and see. It looks like we're hitting some traffic now. Go ahead and slow down here. Hit the jake brake. Then we're going to come around here. We're actually already almost there anyways. Go ahead and double check. Make sure I'm not cutting anybody off over here. Alright, looks like we're all clear. Oh, and we're supposed to actually get off here. Looks like a pretty big load right in front of me. That's pretty cool, actually. We're going to be turning left, so go ahead and hit that jake brake. 
Try and slow us down a bit because it is a stop right here. Go ahead and inch forward just a little bit more and we'll come to a stop. It looks like a Subaru WRX in front of us and the Tesla S, two cars up, possibly. It's hard to tell from here. The other thing I was wanting to know, and I'd love for you guys to comment below, do you guys want to see more frequent uploads but shorter videos or more frequent uploads and maybe a little bit less quality videos? Shouldn't say less quality, but not as much time put into the videos. Kind of more of a raw video is what I should say. Where do you want to see the same amount that you already have right now that I'm already putting up? You know, more, less frequent videos, but more quality. I didn't even realize it made me turn left here. I'm apparently delivering a load to Home Depot. Yep, I'm delivering a load of lumber to Home Depot. That's actually pretty cool. This is my first load delivered to Home Depot. And we got a checkpoint here. Let's go ahead and check in. All right, so let me go ahead and pull around back. It's just shortly around back here. So we did pick the hard option in terms of loading or unloading the lumber. So this will be interesting anyways. This will be an interesting job because it's all the way in the very back and that's a pretty long load. I mean it's a 53 foot trailer. And it looks like we got some dumpsters there that could be hauled away. Maybe some pipes that could be hauled away. It's interesting that you'd be hauling dumpsters away from Home Depot. Perhaps they're just being picked up. Maybe it was a waste management used to do garbage here but now they're not. It looks like right there is where we need to be, so we're going to try and whip this baby around. Now, I am cheating. I am doing this in third person because it has honestly been a while, as I said in the beginning. It's been a while since I have actually played this game. I've been working so dang much here lately that I have not had much time to play the game. Let's see how well I can do this even in third person. It looks like I'm already failing miserably. We're going to have to go forward for sure. Oop, didn't mean to hit my horn there, but... As I had said, I had been working a lot here lately, so I have actually not had much time to even play this game, really. Unfortunately, I do try to play this game about every night, every other night. I try to play any game every night or any every other night. But just the way things have been working out here lately, I have not had much time to do it. I'm sure you guys can all relate. I mean, the holiday seasons are here. And for those of you that might not have caught it in one of my previous videos, I am trying to spend more time with family this year and more time with family just in general and have more fun. I, I did recently lose a loved one, but I will touch base on that in a later video when I'm in a place where I can. But So stay tuned for that if you want to hear more about that. But anyways, I did end up getting it. I'm not going to lie, I did struggle just a little bit there. But, but we made it here. We got it unloaded. Now I will be continuing to haul with this truck. We're going to do quite a few more loads with this truck. and. This truck will probably always stay in my inventory and we'll just randomly follow up and do more videos with this truck. Now I do plan in the future to do other videos with logging trucks and doing logging equipment. But right now because Christmas is right around the corner, the next couple of videos you guys are actually going to see, we're going to be hauling a lot of stuff for Christmas as I had said earlier. So we're going to do a couple of Chris custom Christmas builds and things like that I think you guys are really going to enjoy before we come back to this. But hey, as I had said earlier, comment below what you want to see next. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. I always appreciate your guys' support. I know a lot of you guys have really been following me for a very long time and commenting on every one of my videos. I do read every comment and I pay attention to it and I try to respond back as much as I can. So hey, I really appreciate you guys and I look forward to hopefully seeing you guys and talking... I do look forward to talking to you guys in the very near future and making more videos for you guys. So, you guys take care, and I will see you all in the next video. See you guys.